What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko here with the boy Richard. And uh, so not today, not today, but last locals you were at, whatever. You came first place with uh, Unchained, you went undefeated. And so this deck obviously got a lot of new support. How do you feel about the deck? Um, yeah, it's terrible. I, <laughs> I'll be honest. I did pretty well because I didn't get nibbed once. So. Okay, but the deck loses kind of to nib. Yeah, I'll be, um, I played another locals after it, and um, uh, let's just say every time I got nibbed twice in a match, I lost. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. All right, so you want to get right into the profile? Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right, the unchained lineup uh, is, I guess, relatively standard. Uh, it's three Aruha, uh, three Rakea, two Sarama yep. for the small ones. Um, this is pretty standard because I'm not playing tour guide. Uh, I haven't tested enough tour guide, but this is what I used. I basically used like the second place Toronto list. Okay. Uh, it worked out well when I drew like two of these. It was good. So okay. you always want to see them. So yeah. Uh, for the big bigger dogs, uh, I run three Sharvara, three of the new one. This guy's really good. Um, best thing, worst case, if you're in a weird simplified state, you just play Sharvara beat down, and yep. like whenever they kill it, you just set in the other trap to like get more advantage out of it right so eventually like you just cycle through all the traps and, like and, like some i won a few games simply off just like this setting like multiple traps every time it dies right and he's like the first real extender the deck has right um technically a has an extender but it's like a second special summon from hand okay so yeah it, it makes your it makes it easier to combo especially without your normal summon right okay uh and then for the other the kind of like bad dog guys to draw one shiyama uh, you need to play him for the wave king uh, one disaster, uh, one A-bomb. Okay. Uh, in retrospect, I'd probably cut this for a second A-bomb. Uh, okay. This, this card's so nice for chain blocking, so it's probably just cut this for a second one and be nice. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, and then for the other engine, uh, three uh, A-bombs prisons. Uh, just flexing the misprints on us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, three... A bomb wall chamber and then three escape. I think it's pretty standard. You just need a lot of things just to blow up. The more you have, the better, right? And, and for your combos, you typically want to open a trap plus the red dog, right? Uh, yes. Uh, any technically speaking, any poppable plus red dog is combo. But um, yeah, ideally you want to open uh the big red dog plus anything you can blow up, and that's your full board. Okay. Uh, and then for non-engine, because there's a lot of space. Uh, three prosp. Uh, if you can play prosp, you play prosp. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you can play anything. Uh, and then for the Nusana engine, uh, three Ash, three Droll, three Eclipse. Format tax. Format taxes, two Tack, and three Imperms. Okay. Imperm was like kind of mediocre, I'm not gonna lie, but like I don't really know what else to put for it. Like maybe Nibs, maybe like Tour Guy package. What, what about Thrust? Uh, definitely Thrust. I would I would probably play them, but um, I just didn't have them on hand because I just lent them out. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, non engines just non engine It's pretty good. Droll, Droll's an FTK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Droll's so Droll's good. Droll's the best Pretty card. much everything in this format. Droll's but you were telling me earlier, Droll's actually not that good into you. Oh, yeah, no. Um, the standard combo, if you get Drolled on your A-bombs prison, you can still do the whole combo um, without get, under Droll because um, Yama says add back from Grave. Okay. So you can just modify the combo line a little bit and you can like add it back. And um, if you get like drooled after you add off of Yama, you don't care because you don't add anymore. Okay. Like unless you have like a prosperity in him, and then like it kind of sucks, but like that's whatever, right? Okay. So yeah, don't side it in against the deck. Yeah. Okay. Good advice. Now you know how to beat Richard. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. Extra deck. Uh, one Darius. Uh, I mean, just in case, one Machina X uh, for all the decks that um, this guy isn't good against. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and then just one Zeus. Uh, I'm playing TAC, like I understand you do get fiend blocked, but sometimes it just comes up and you have like some extra deck space, so I thought I might as well just put it in, and nothing, no other links really came up, so yeah. Do you prosper away when you don't think you need it? Uh, yeah, almost always, like when I prosper six, uh, the Zeus goes, plus like these guys, or, cause, like you don't really need them. Yeah, that's fair. So yeah. Uh, for links, uh, two Yama. Uh, you could justify three if there's a lot of cash. I only I played two, it was fine. Yep. Third one didn't really come up. Uh, three Solar Rage. Wait, more misprints, I just noticed. Yeah, MP20, MP20 misprints, Woo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, three Solar Rage. I mean, it's decent in the grind, but um, you almost always prop you one way as a guy, second place guy said. <laughs> yeah. You almost always prop you one way. I think the ratio was fine. Uh, and then two Anguish. 
Uh, I mean, not much else to say. He's he's one of the better ones. Yep. A lot of the times, sometimes I'll go like I'll link Soul Rage into Anguish, and then I'll pop Anguish with Escape, and then I'll use Yama to bring this back with for follow up. So now my opponent, I get another extra add back, so I'm most likely to Stravar, and then now first step I can just link away one of their cards and it's make a bomb or oh, okay. access code, right? So it's really good. Uh, and then one unicorn. Um, he's a fiend. He's a dark. So you can summon him on your fiend lock, and you can summon him off uh, the link two dog. So it's good. Uh, one a bomb. Uh, you're basically your, <laughs> your boss monster. Yeah. Really good. Uh, access code is access code, and then uh, one goddess just in case, right? Okay. Pretty standard, I guess. That was Pretty standard. Nothing, yeah. no, nothing like too unique. All right. What'd you play on your side? Uh, three side. Uh, three radian. Uh, I mean, he's okay. I mean, he's just a kaiju. Kaiju's yeah. a kaiju, right? Not, not much to complain about. Uh, I decided to play two lands. Um, this deck kind of feels like Cash Tier, where it loses to kind of the similar things, where the, you kind of lose really hard to breakers okay. against your field, right? So I thought, why not just try and play like a card that lets me just like ignore getting my Wave King book? Because like almost everyone's playing like book cards somewhere in their deck. Yeah, either so I thought about like might as well just have a way to play around it, right? So yeah. I mean, it was decent. Uh, two cosmic and the harpies for back row hate. Uh, one called by when you go first or against like D Link or something. Yep. Uh, three or Erad. Um, yeah. So it turns out that in the combo, if you can forego the Yama engrave to summon an extra body out. Okay. So in that case, you can just summon the extra A bomb, Abominable Slot. And guess what? He's an Erad target. So. Oh, okay, okay. You might as well play it, Erad, um, just to play around like all the funny breakers people side in. Or like, worst case, it just forces people to flip everything and you can just Wave King negate it. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So yeah. So when you see Erad in your opening hand, you're changing the combo lineup to get a bomb on field. Yes. Okay. But um, it's it's almost the exact same line, but yeah, it's just leaving. You just burn the Yama. Right? Okay, okay. Uh, and then the last three is three evenly. Uh, good, I mean, card. Yeah, good card. Good card, good <laughs> card, yeah. Okay, um, so that's that's pretty much it. It was a pretty simplistic deck, I guess. Um, I will say though that the changes you would make, you said, were just essentially thrust in the main deck, because um, the thrust can also search the traps, right? Which yeah. is kind of important. Uh, it'd probably be cut like the imperms and like one of the attacks for like a small thrust package. Okay. Um, I guess I would probably try messing with different things in the side decking. Maybe mess with the tour guide package again. But okay. I mean, overall the deck performed well. All right. Well, congratulations on your undefeatedness. Uh, Guys, if there's one thing to take away from this video, don't get nibbed. Because if you get nibbed, it's not fun. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Thank you, Richard, for being on the channel. With that, Spanko and Richard signing out. Peace.